What's up guys, it's River Rat Productions and today I am doing the Mystery Tackle Box, the Bass Fishing Kit and I'm going to be doing an unboxing on this. I did the Elite Series one uh, just actually about a week ago and I'm kind of curious on how they compare to each other because this one is like half the price. It has five to six items. It has around a $25 value. I got it at uh, Dick Sporting Goods for about $19 and then plus tax and everything of course. But yeah, I'm super excited to try this out. I feel like there's going to be some pretty cool baits in here. So, if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. And if you haven't already, please check out the Mystery Tackle Box Elite unboxing I did last week. I'm comparing these like I said earlier. But yeah, also subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay tuned for future content. And I'll see you here in a second. As you can see, there's still tape on it right there. So I'm gonna cut into it and I'll see exactly what we got. Hopefully we got something pretty cool. But normally I'm not disappointed with these boxes. Let's see. All right, so this looks pretty good off the top of it so far. We'll put those to the side. I'll read those after. So the first thing I noticed whenever I look in here is a heavy metal tungsten flipping jig. This is a PB and J color, and it's four out hook. This is actually pretty nice, honestly. If you guys haven't used tungsten, they're more sensitive to bites. So this will be absolutely awesome, especially for smallmouth. I feel like that's like the perfect size for some of the lures I've been throwing. So I feel like that'll actually do pretty good. So this is made by uh, Ketchco. Uh, this is a 3 8 ounce. And yeah, that's definitely gonna be useful. I'll definitely be using that pretty soon on one of those floats. The next thing I noticed, let me take it out of this case real quick. We got a Guggen Squad Recon. And this is uh, the Sexy Shag color. And this dives eight to 12 feet. And it's uh, two and three quarter inches long and it's 5 eighths of an ounce. This lure would be awesome because bass are transitioning to their summer spots. So, especially like in the summers, you wanna to switch to normally like a bluegill slash shad pattern. So, this is absolutely gonna be deadly. Can't wait to use this. Uh, I haven't really been fishing too many uh, lakes recently or anywhere really where it's that deep. So, Whenever I do, I'll definitely probably bring this with me and uh, give it a shot. They make some pretty good crankbaits, in my opinion. The next thing I noticed is the Excite baits here. And this is a little creature style bait. Uh, looks like it's a green pumpkin color. It doesn't really say anything too, too much on it. But um, yeah, these will make an awesome trailer for this jig here. So that'll be pretty cool to use. Personally, I, I like using crawl baits for, uh, or creature baits in general for my trailers on jigs, so that'll be perfect. Especially that color, I feel like will pair pretty good. So, super excited about that. And then, we also got some more creature style baits. And this is Carl's Amazing Bait. And it is a green pumpkin and it is the hog three and three quarter inch. And there's eight in this pack. So those look pretty cool. Uh, those would be pretty good for like Texas rig, honestly, in my opinion. It's probably what I'll be using them for, especially with the appendages they got right here, if you guys can see that. So yeah, super excited about trying this bait. Uh, I really haven't tried too many of the Carl's Amazing Baits. I've got them a few times and I've used them but I've never really used them too, too much. I also got these uh, four out Mustad hooks and these are the EWG ones. And these are perfect for like creature style baits like uh, the ones that we've got in this box. So those will be awesome for Texas rigging it. So those hooks actually look pretty sharp too. I don't know if you guys can see that. If they'll focus in, yeah, right there. They look pretty sharp, so. Honestly, uh, I'll have to try these. I really haven't tried too many of these hooks. So, it's always never a bad thing to have extra hooks. 
So that was all the lures that came in my box. I also got this uh, sticker here from uh, Coach Co. So that's pretty cool. I'll definitely put that on like my tackle box. And also I got the Dibble, and this is the tip and tricks of uh, the Mystery Tackle Box. And I'll just have a quick peek inside to see. Um, yeah, honestly, these are pretty useful to read if you're new to bass fishing. Uh, it basically tells you like, like this one's talking about spinning versus casting reels and how to tie the polymer knot. So it's definitely useful if you are new into bass fishing and if you need baits, Mystery Tackle Box is a wonderful place to start. So if you haven't already picked up one before, I'll link uh, the Mystery Tackle Box down below so you guys can pick up your own. The five baits I got in my box is the Guggen Squad Recon, which is the most expensive lure. And I wish they would put the prices out to the side like they do in the monthly mystery tackle box, but they don't. But this is going to be awesome for the summer spots that the bass are migrating to. So, especially that color, that color is going to do really well. And then the next thing is this heavy metal tungsten flipping jig. And honestly, tungsten is super sensitive. And I feel like this is going to be pretty deadly for smallmouth, especially with its small profile. So that'll be pretty nice. And then we got the Excite Baits Raptor Tail Juniors, is what they're called. And it's these little creature style baits right here. So those will do pretty, pretty well. Uh, probably will put that as like the trailer on that flipping jig. Probably cut a little bit off, of course. But, um, and then we got the Carl's Amazing Baits Gator Hog. So that's what these are called. And they have uh, pretty cool little appendages on the end. So I feel like those will definitely work pretty, pretty well, especially this time of year or in like the spring. And then we got the Mustad extra wide gap hooks. And we got two of those. And it's never a bad thing to have extra hooks and they look really sharp. Personally, I think this box was worth it overall. I've never really been disappointed with a mystery tackle box. So it's a good way to get some lures if you're new into bass fishing and you really don't know too much because normally they'll teach you how to use it in that little pamphlet or uh, you can go look it up online or check out my channel. But yeah, awesome box here. Stay tuned for uh, the kayaking video I post on Saturday. You'll be in a couple days from now. It's going to be pretty good. So if you guys haven't already, uh, hit that little subscribe button. I also post wading videos and jump boat videos, so if that interests you, let me know down below. And I'm also wanting to get into musky fishing. I'm just waiting on the fall so I can take out my jump boat. And I, I'm planning on taking it out uh, to some of the lakes around here. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little red button down below. Mm -hmm. I uh, post three videos a week, and I've been doing more floats recently. So if you're interested in that, check that out. I also do uh, wading videos and John boat videos and anything really with my kayak. So if that interests you, make sure you hit that little red button down below. And also follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.